How's it guys and welcome back to another video. It's me, Cam from Cam's Call and welcome back to another daily Chelsea transfer news video. And today I'm going to be talking about Nathan Ake deal off, new Wonder Kid signing, new goalkeeper signing, Kaladu Kulabali confirmed and all other jazz. So without further ado, I'm Cam's, Cam's Call and I do daily Chelsea transfer news videos-ish. And if you don't know, I have covid in uh, July 2022, so it's a bit cringe, but anyway, I'm going to still be talking about the transfer news, so without further ado, let's get on with the first story. Now, like all good transfer news stories, I'm going to start with for David Orstein, who has said Ake is going to stay at Manchester City. Now, I'm kind of happy about this because Chelsea Cobham star Lee Y. Cowell was, um, you know, rumoured to be leaving because he was going to be a sixth choice, but I think because we're not signing Nathan Ake, I kind of think signing players we already had a couple of years ago for fifty million pounds is kind of a, not a good deal, really. And uh, yeah, he's not really as good as Koulibaly or Kimpembe or another centre back we'll talk about later. So uh, yeah, I'm kind of happy about this. Nathan Ake, I think if we signed him, I don't even think he'd start. So yeah, a bit of a waste of money. Um, I think it's good that he's going to stay at Manchester City, not the least because. I'm not that highly excited about him, but this means we're not going to give more money to our title ship rivals, so that's good. The centre-back that is going to be uh, rumoured, other than Kempembe, is of course Chelsea are back in the running for Jules Koundé, so I'm going to put the story here. So yeah, that is uh, kind of crazy. Yet again, another season we're still rumoured of Kempembe. I know Tuchel wanted him, I know fucking... Abramovich wanted him, so hopefully Todd Bowley wants him. Yeah, I think another left-footed centre-back like Nathan Ake. He's going to cost more than Nathan Ake. He's younger, he has more potential, and I think he's better than uh, Nathan Ake. But I were enough with Nathan Ake. In the coming days, we're going to be talking more about Jules Koundé and Kimpembe because I think that we need to sign another centre-back on top of the centre-back we just signed. Without further ado, let's go on to the next story. Breaking. Well, not breaking, but yeah. Kaladu Koulibaly. Or two days ago, you know, said, oh, he's, he's signed, he's going to do his medical in LA. But no, he did his medical in London. He's set to fly to LA today to join up with the team like Sterling did. A couple of photos of Sterling around, just, you know, really making, wow, you look good in that kit, man. Glad he signed him. So yeah, uh, Koulibar is going to fly off like Sterling did to LA to uh, hopefully sign for the Blues for £33 million. What a deal. Top early, clap your hands. Well done, well done. 31 years old, in this prime for a centre-back. Uh, yeah, I've been seeing a lot of rival fans pretty jealous of that, which makes me feel good, because to this t day last week, I was like, yeah, Chelsea, man, there. Tom Burley ain't really it. But now, I think he is, because, yeah, what signing this is. He will be flying to LA today, hopefully. Join with the team, get announced for a video. I just love announced for videos. So without further ado, let's go to the next story. We're talking about attacking options now, where... We thought we were going to get Serge Gnabry. Serge Gnabry has signed a new contract with Bayern, which has led Chelsea fans to think Leroy Sane. Hmm? Yeah, now that's the option. What a great signing that would be. Leroy Sane to be reunited with Raheem Sterling. I can't say no. So if I hear more about that, I'll bring you up to date, of course, in Cam's Cobham. But without further ado, let's go to an actual signing that we probably have paid and that is Amari Hutchison from Arsenal Academy now lots of my friends are Arsenal fans my brother is a Arsenal fan and he literally loves Amari Hutchison saying how good he is uh keep telling me to keep an eye on him and it just so happens that he's upgraded to the best team in London which is great Arsenal's best prospect from Hayland is going to be joining Chelsea which is you know not only is he a great player but he's leaving like many Arsenal players do to actually win silverware so he's following the footsteps of Fabregas see that Tom Bowley not only is focusing on the men's team the women's team as well and he's focusing on Cobham the youth team which you know it's always good because you you think that as an American he only cares about money in the men's team but no he's involved in the project which is great and finally on to another signing Chelsea have signed this goalkeeper from Chicago Fire now, I'm a avid MLS watcher, so I uh, know exactly how good he is. Yeah, I've watched a couple of compilations and he looks pretty sick. Um, the deal involves loaning him for another year back to Chicago Fire, which I think is good because, yeah, that old Kepa situation is going to be a bit tough. We've got three goalkeepers on the bus now and then Jamie Cummings again off on loan. See you later, boy. Yeah, so 
I think it's good to loan him for one more season. Build the confidence. He's, you know, towered as one of them. Unless he's great. Young goalkeeper, so that's always good. Send him there. Ship off Kefa the next summer. And hopefully he can battle with Mendy. He's only young. Mendy's also, you know, reaching his 30th birthday. You know, yeah, whatever. I think Mendy's great, but it's always nice to have a cup keeper and hopefully could overtake him very soon. So without further ado, this is Cam, Cam Scrobbin. Chelsea transfer news recently has been crazy and very hectic because Todd Bowley's decided to get his wallet out and yeah it's also very exciting so without further ado subscribe all that jazz 500 subs soon and I'll see you tomorrow